Rise fans, and welcome to a wonderful race here with some star-shaped pancakes. I am your host, Alice L, and I am joined here by the Rivers McCown. How you doing today, Rivers? Doing good. Looking forward to this matchup between, I would say, probably one of the tournament favorites here in uh, X Pancras, who many people predicted to uh, win the final. And then we've got Starman, who's a very accomplished community member, won the Hopin way back in the day, uh, came in top 16 in Football Gauntlet, and uh, making another run here. Yep, and um, both our runners have their objectives up for us. And what, what, Fu, So, Ya? What, what, what? Yeah, Snape D apparently was feeling very nice when he rolled the seed. I would have been more cruel. Now, there is always that chance that uh, that Fusoya is at the very end of the giant. I mean, it's not going to be, but there's that chance. Right, and, and he's he's at the very end of the giant, and uh, Evil Wall is guarding him, and so it's, you know, a fight that you've got to grind to get through, and that'll be nice for everybody to see, right? That'll happen. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, let's go with it. But we do also have our three mainstay objectives. We have have Coco Forge the Legend Sword with the Adamant, complete Cave Magnus, and trade away the Pink Tail. More importantly, we've got a Pelham start, which uh, is what our runners are probably very happy to see. Uh, Pelham can dish it out on the overworld pretty pretty well compared to most characters, and uh, gets his level two spells with only like one boss fight or, or battle really, and. Uh, you know, get poor, you get twin magic going. Um, there's a lot of ways that Tom can kind of speed up the early game. Yep, he also learns Quake significantly earlier than his other black mage counterpart, Rydia. Um, I think learns Nuke earlier too, just because her XP curve is so bad. Yeah, I don't know, somebody would devs. have to crunch numbers. Those vanilla devs and also math. Make us no math. <laughs> yeah, no math here. Um, just great commentary. And I do believe our runners are off. And speaking of... Uh... Speaking of no math, we are going to see in action who has a better XP curve. <laughs> Aren't we? It's a good thing they got that power shirt, too, because that'll really make things fun for uh, our two mages. Um, this is not the dream start. Um, you really don't have anybody that can take a significant hit with this party. I'm sure our runners are hoping for something like maybe a very easily accessible Sid or a cane or anything that has more than 100 HP. Well, with the Fusaya objective, I wouldn't be surprised to see Kaipo be an early check just because uh, he might be in that bed and then you kind of got that knowledge right away. And we see Pankras going to Eplin Castle early. This is one you don't see every day. Eplin Castle does have a nicer bit of loot than, say, Damsian or some of the other places you might check, but does have those three nasty trap chests that these characters are in no way, shape, or form equipped to deal with. And reset. <laughs> <laughs> but we do know where that is, so we can avoid it for later. We see Edge, it looks like the character in the Kaipa bed. So getting the Sand Ruby not the cure to what ails us today. And not getting a lot, um, only seeing a crystal sword, or not a crystal sword, gosh, I wish it was a crystal sword, a crystal armor here, which um, usually would be uh, money, but it sells for nothing. 
Yeah, one of the flags that we turn on for this flag set is that the shops will not give you any money for anything you bring them. So you can use it to empty your inventory, but you cannot use it to make money. Pankra is getting rewarded here, finding that Leviathan summon. So that is that is a bit of a win for him. And kind of waffling on whether he wants to open any more chests, um, really got what he came for, which is uh, early game damage as soon as that Rydia gets enough MP to cast it. Starman doing the uh, looting here in the Watery Pass, which tends to be pretty popular. Did not find uh, a lot early in that, but does walk out of there with the wizard hat at least, so that's something for defense for these characters, which with C. Mechie, you definitely need defense for Rydia. Yeah, C. Neki is another one of those uh, flags that we have turned on, where the only thing the character comes equipped with is one, uh, the one weapon between tiers one and three. So not a whole lot. There's a power shirt wear for you, and I think we have a poison axe, a gungnir. Yeah, gungnir was what uh, Pankras found. So pretty good start for this seed as far as. We got a lot um, of damage set up early. And I think those might have been lit arrows with how much damage that Palum did. Now, the real text box. Ow, why'd you do that? <laughs> Yeah, that, um, that Luge just melting under some of the equipment we found for these three Intepid heroes. Meanwhile, we see Starman getting the Hovercraft, one of those things that isn't technically required, but is almost always sort of required. Yeah, with Pink Tail being one of the objectives in these seeds, you, you see a lot more uh, play to that, for sure. And he is also giving us um, a cute little check of what the summon is here at the start of Mount Hobbs. Right, we randomized the summon. This is a spot where in Vanilla Rydia sometimes will, Rydia will always learn Fire 1. Uh, you can't learn it before that, and because uh, we know that that's a little bit different, you know, not not quite as valuable in Free Enterprise, change it up a little, give it give you a random summon, and it looks like we've got Shiva here. Shiva, um, kind of a tier two summon, I would call it almost. It's not the dream, but it is a little bit of early game damage. A lot of uh, lightning-focused uh, <laughs> bosses early on here. If we see Odin and Alion, uh, Thor Rage spam takes it out. Pankras leaving Alion Cave with a package. Package is spicy, being one of those places that um, you can find a Fuso Ya. Well, Snipey wouldn't give Fu that early, surely. I mean, like, it'll be an Edward, right? I don't know. I think Snipey's pretty nice. Snipey? But looks like we're going to do a quick waterfall check, make sure that there's not a spicy evil wall or demist hanging out here. Just some guards. Womp womp. And yeah, we're keying into the uh, early game checks here. This is mainly looking for Mist Dragon, of course, and then also evil wall if evil walls around as an objective, so. Good to, choose, good to be checking early. Good to find Valvulus there. Bury that Valvulus. Never come back to it. 
especially with a party of mostly mages, you never want to see that Valvulus. Looks like there was a Rosa package that uh, Pentacraz immediately nuked out of. This is a pretty good party for damage early game, so I'm not totally surprised by that. And there are three duplicates, so um, good chance you might find that Rosa elsewhere. We've got a white chocobo play to restore MP. This is because Rydia had to gain some levels. Now, I think she has enough to cast one Leviathan. So if we get past the first fight here, uh, she can probably insta-kill whatever's back here. And we've got a Tella. And a Cursed curse Ring. ring. Ooh. Tell us about how good that Cursed Ring is. Uh, that Cursed Ring is real good, especially if you don't have um, really a set anchor because Eurydia gained levels. Of course, Eurydia is dead, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but you, it reduces your agility by 15, which is a good thing with Zeromus because lower number mean good. Now, I'm not, no mathematician, but that does check out, yes. And we see Elements is, is the uh, boss two here at Baronem, setting up for the Leviathan to try to kill it and have Ice two back up here at Bellum. Now, is Leviathan an Ice element? No. Ice too is an ice element, though. Indeed, indeed. And Pancras has freed Tella from the end, and we have an edge for our troubles. I mean, a Tella and an edge. I wouldn't shake a stick at it. Would you shake a cure staff at it? Well, no, because we did just get that free heal. Would you take a change rod at it? Oink. Pancras doing the save here. Um, this has become kind of a, a evolving point here where you can reset out of the check uh, and still be closer to Baron, which is closer to a lot of the locations left, I suppose. So. Probably a declaration of where we're going next to Pancras, but we do see Edge. Uh, he did not know that Edge was there, and uh, we are taking Edge. Even though you don't start with all of Edge's awesome gear, uh, he is level 25, which means he does have more health than anyone else in this party right now. And Flame can do some pretty good work depending on the boss you run into. And Starman picking up his package. We'll see if they want to go ahead and um, wait for that Rosa or go ahead and do some of the other overworld checks. We've also got a cheeky uh, dwarf axe purchase by Pancras, so that uh, we'll be able to back row Kane um, something that maybe Starman won't have at, his, at their disposal for some of these early game fights. Yep, um, definitely being able to back row glitch both Kane and Cecil, even though you can use bow and arrows, um, it is faster with the Dwarf Axe is a nice kind of quality of life thing, even though it's a bug. The great quality of life bugs of FF4. <laughs> yeah, the life glitch, the the back row glitch. Ah, just dart a, th 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 dart a slumber sword, it's fine. Hey, we got we got a notice that we can use. That is probably the most damage a notice has ever done. 
Ruby was put on notice. No save. Ew. Ew. Actually, kind of a spicy fight here. Ew. I hate these th these ladies at this spot. Ew. This is a good magic spot, so the, 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 the magic here does a lot of damage for early game, and you can see Kane wiped already. Uh, Edge coming in handy here, though. Um, might be able to take one. And, of course, the Leviathan, uh, you see, uh, is in a pretty good position to do damage here. Yeah, we did see that that Cindy is not going to one-shot um, Rydia with a punch, and the Leviathan comes out. Snack. Leviathan just takes care of all nasty early game fights, I think. Yeah, it was good to see uh, Pancras rewarded for diving up on Castle to get that. That's that's really something where if you know you come up empty, you feel a little behind. Maybe you start panicking a little bit, but you find that all of a sudden these early game fights not looking quite that bad. And we see at the pool a little scoop of vanilla, although not really vanilla, but vanilla-ish. This is like that fake vanilla that you get at the uh, gas station. Phonilla. For those wondering, this is the alt gauntlet, um, which does not play the original gauntlet at this spot. It does take five encounters of enemies from around the world of this area. So, yeah, um, you're going to have your goblins, your cockatrices. There is a gargoyle, that's sort of vanilla. Yeah, he appears alone in vanilla, but close enough. And we've got uh, Mom Bomb at the top of ordeals here. Uh, Pankraz received the pass for completing ordeals. Pass is always a nice pickup. Means that if you do have to go to the moon and then come back, you do not have to walk all the way down for two and a half minutes. Yeah, I think it, it incentivizes me when I'm playing to, if I get in Darkness Crystal early, I'm a lot more likely to die by the past than not. So, I don't know how, I don't know if that works for, that way for every runner, but uh, interesting to see what Pankraz does with it for sure. But Starman utilizing those tier 2 spells to great effect to take out these, um, these lower level enemies. And one thing I like about the alt gauntlet is that you get to see all the monsters that you never get to see in Free Enterprise. And be annoyed by all the monsters you never see in Free Enterprise because all of a sudden the sword rats getting, you know, eight damage from a Thor Rage. You're like, come on, you're supposed to be weak. But I believe at this point we know that the path to the underground must be through this Fabul check. And so it is. It could have been a, a, a D-mist in a sneaky spot, but yes, this is this is our magma key. This is Starman's opportunity to uh, open up the underground. Um, I would be very surprised, given his party comp, if we didn't see Palom get Quake right away upon uh, entering the underground. And you had mentioned earlier that that flame could do some serious work. And it is about to uh, show its value. Yeah, I believe you only have four casts of it, so uh, Pankras will have to you know, make a business decision on which one he wants to, uh, to keep here. But 
it, you can see it takes out these things a lot faster than the Thor Rage, and Edge is fast enough that he's pretty much always going first and beating enemies out of the queue. See a firebomb in that inventory, that's probably going to get tossed at, the, at one of these fights. And we'll see how Starman's um, elements fight goes. Might have a little more trouble not having that um, words. Leviathan? Yes. Angry Snake God. Uh, we do get the bluff to Ice Tube may move and Elements does not snipe that one. So that probably should do it? Yeah. And no, Starman... Oh. oh, sorry. Starman will be picking up his um, his Tella and his Edge. Early edge access um, in, this, in these seeds can factor in a little bit. It kind of depends because you do have Siren stealing ability now. Uh, so that can be a play that you think about. I don't know if our runners are going to do it immediately. But uh, if we go under round, we don't see any Sirens in any of the shops, then you might start to see that as an option. But Pankraz, having done everything else on the overworld, is going to be our first runner underground at under 20 minutes. Ooh, Starman picking up some long swords and uh, missed. The, the edge that we have right now, I don't think he came with a lot of uh, top notch equipment, so that is a good find. And also picking up the dwarf axe here, so uh, back her capability for Kane for both of our runners now. But I expect that Starman will probably still head up ordeals to go ahead and get that Tella online. And yeah, Pankraz is going to go ahead. We'll see if he wants to do shopping percent or kind of wants to do um, check his freebies. They don't get any freer than the uh, Dwarf Castle uh, boss one. Snark, snark, snark. <laughs> I mean, it could be something like a water hag or King Queen Eblin. Yeah, King Queen Eblin is the best case for sure. And I, I don't hate this play at all. I think it's, it's actually very smart to make sure you know what the barrier is here at the very least, and that's star. So have we seen Ogo Pogo yet? I don't think we've seen a single moon boss yet, actually. Wyvern into Ogo Pogo or Ogo Pogo into Wyvern are both very rude and I love both of them. What do they, what do they call what do they call them the the witches when you get it right? <laughs> there you go. Allie has some witchcraft in her. But I don't weigh as much as a duck. Quack. Ooh. I'll go sniping the uh, the cane here. We'll see if uh, one angry snake dragon god thing can take out the other angry snake dragon god thing. I'm a big fan of the three random softs just hanging out in Pancras' inventory right now. 
I think it was those stupid cockatrices. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Yeah, and that is a that is a reset. Yeah, that's probably a smart move there. Meanwhile, like I said, like I like I kind of predicted, Starman went right to these eggs for uh, uh, Quake access. I believe you can, use Odin. you can use Odin. You can use Odin. You can stop it with uh, Tella. You got some options here, so. And the Odin goes off. Love to see a good Odin usage in a uh, free enterprise run. Pancras, meanwhile, is just spending money and might be giving us a temp drop dwarf check. Wow, off of the meme. No, 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 no treasures taken, even. Wow. A computer systems engineer, which I'm beginning to think there's a lot of those in Free Enterprise. <laughs> Odin doing more work. This is this is more work than Odin gets in a, in, uh, <laughs> in any run of Free Enterprise I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Odin like actually hit two times in a row. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Pretty rare. So it looks like we're going to see our two freebies here. Uh, Starman doing the Sylph Cave. Give a one check. Pancras picking up uh, the... I missed it out of... Uh, a Lunar Stick. Fate March. Yeah, Lunar Stick. And we're going to get a check on who our king and queen are, and uh, one of those is free. <laughs> those three softs, now that I've seen them. I just, they just, they, they're, they're, into they're intoxicating me. I can't, I can't help but look at them. I don't know if he has star, star bells in his inventory, but I know he has three softs. <laughs> okay, five star bells. Yeah, that's, that's plenty for this fight. And Tella can technically cast Wall. He sure can. Not Starman's Tella, though. Because they haven't been ordeals yet. And apparently there are several Odins living here in the Seed, as Starman just picked up two. You know, Odin's a little desperate for attention sometimes in Free Enterprise, and when you actually give him the attention, he's like, come on, I, I can help you out even more. I'll follow you. <laughs> I'm useful, really. Please acknowledge me. <laughs> so we're all Hoping on Pancras' side that uh, Kane can do enough damage to maybe limit it to only uh, two Mega Nukes. You might see three, but that's why the Berserk went off there. Yep, if Kane can kind of chew through some of that HP, at least enough that, well, any more than two, and you start worrying about them star veils. Unless there's agility shenanigans going on that I don't know about, because uh, you want to talk about witchcraft. <laughs> well, uh, we have a cursed ring, so I'm pretty sure those star veils are, are going to make it for a while here. I think I've seen four uh, without the star battle falling off. The only question is whether the one the talent cast will, will run on or not. Yeah, let's bring every soft down. <laughs> and we see uh, Starman having the same idea that this is pretty much free uh, is not helpful in progression. 
well, if I'm Starman and I get out of this fight, I'm like, the seed is giving me a command to go to ordeals, I feel like. <laughs> the seed the seed gave you Tello. Tello is like a suggestion to go to ordeals. Then you get the Excalibur and the seed's like, you, you really should go to ordeals, though. You're going to find that Cecil, and it's going to be great. And it looks like Pankraz is feeling like, hey, I can take this. I really hope Wyvern's afterwards. You know, I didn't think of you as as, as a person harboring such resentment for for somebody, but that that does that does feel awfully mean. <laughs> I, I just like the chaos and suffering and misery. <laughs> but yeah, with those levels, uh, Pankras is in a better spot here. Can Berserk up Kane, has Quake to bail out if, if needed, so that should be helpful. I'm honestly a little surprised to see both runners leave that Octo hanging because that's not really a, a enormously difficult boss spot, especially for Pankras with Tell Happen with three. So interesting, interesting plays here. It looks like Starman's gonna go redeem the Sheila one check. We'll see if Sheila has the goods today. Is this the one that gets cranky? Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, Ogopogo gets cranky at everything you do. This scene delivering the Darkness Crystal out of Sheila 1. That's another chance for a foo, which with as many bosses as they've done, would probably trivialize part of the seed. It's not like the seed has been unkind either, but yeah, you're right, that would really up the line. And that's a required evil wall, it looks like. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, y'all. Wow. No loyalty to that Leviathan summon, just, just peace out. I mean, it is a fresh possible anchor. But uh, I'm not like we're actually healing her. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there she goes. This wall is angry. But uh, Pankra is showing off that if you have no valid targets for the wall to hit, the wall just doesn't know what to do and it has to hit something. Yeah, I do enjoy when walls hit themselves. It's a common occurrence in my life. Well, they've hit me so many times, it's only fair. <laughs> so that lights up objective number four for Pankras, uh, our first runner to get a objective complete. Probably something that both runners will wind up doing. We see sirens on the moon, though Starman doesn't have a lot of money to actually buy them right now. Yep, only able to afford one, but we do still have that edge who can steal them if need be. We've got the tail of the rat out of the Gorf Castle check, so another key item. Though maybe not one you can actually do anything with at this moment.
just a dupe palm on the moon, so nothing doing there as far as objectives. Well, that's good. Um, that only leaves locations for Fu to be uh, up the tower of... No, not up the tower. Tower of Zod. There's a tower in there somewhere. Yep, Tower and of Zod, Baron. And Baron the, and uh, the giant. Oh, and the, oh the hook. Yeah, we're actually pretty low on uh, uh, progression right now. Um, unless there's a Demas hanging out at the package or at Za 1, uh, we pretty much need to find something out of that Octomam or the Tom Tower here, which Pankraz is giving us. And then, of course, all the moon bosses, <laughs> which I'm sure everybody's just raring to see happen, but I doubt will happen the way uh, our runners have played these seeds generally. No, I think if that foo is at the very end of Giant, we are not seeing that foo. Yeah, you would have to, I mean, there's a situation where that could happen, where, you know, you, you enter no mode about Giant having foo because you've done all the other checks, and maybe that's, like, easier than a, a chain to follow, but uh, probably pretty rare. Yeah, either that or Demist holding something that blocks one of our other objectives being at the top of the giant. Well, that's free boss. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I wonder how many of the fire two spells will actually miss at this spot. And you saw King Queen playing with the dolls there, so I mean, they were enjoying a little, a little, a little respite, and uh, had to go and interrupt it. So, something, something, Hades. Bankrise doesn't look like he actually wants to off for him. Like he's not trying to hurt her. Maybe he's intending for her to be his black mage and gonna just curse that Tella, let him get levels and curse that Tella. Yep. Meanwhile, Starman having a little bit of a scary Ogopogo fight. Um, the very rarely seen Cure One from Rydia. Oh, you love it. Anytime you can dart an ancient sword, you've just got to do it. <laughs> and this is a wipe for Starman. Oof. Well, that does even up the wipe count there. And vanilla tower key for Pankraz. That is kind of low-key rude, just because a lot of times you won't do top of tower without the tower key. Sort of like some runners won't do pan without, or won't do Sheila one without the pan. In case you're wondering, the seed was lightly randomized. Lightly randomized. Turtle! and a nice turtle to see in that spot. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle, Alice? I don't have one because I never watched it as a kid. Okay, that's fair. I don't know, is there one that has pink? Maybe in the later remakes? I didn't watch those, so... <laughs> but who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? 
chat is being mean about this. Um, hmm, my favorite Ninja Turtle is is Donatello because he invented every gadget in that entire show. <laughs> Without him, the plot would have crashed a million times. And we are going to see some siren sneaking here on Pankraz's side. Starman working on Ogo Belt number three here, I believe. This definitely is a battle that you want. Berserk for an unfortunate teller because Starman has not done ordeals. His teller does not have it, which is a little problematic for actually finishing this fight. Even just throwing out blinks would be a lot, of, a lot of help. Although, if we can keep that cane alive and he can keep doing stupid amounts of damage... One thing I'll give uh, Starman win or lose in this race, I have seen more ancient sword throwing and more Odin gassing than I have in a long time. So, kudos. That is a twin harp at tower key. That's sort of required. Very much an objective, very much something that Pankras is probably on his way to do, uh, getting the Sheila 1 check pulled in here because uh, once you get all this damage from these damage tiles uh, and head into the twin harp fight, um, you get a free heal anyway, so no, no real impact on that. Yep, just a real nice piece of routing. Um, and it's just real easy to kill off your party when you only have one uh, HP. Who would have thought? Starman. Starman gets through the Ogopogo. Now he's in with that evil wall that was rude to Pankraz earlier. Uh, looks like Kane's properly back road and should be okay. But man, this is a fast and and, and rude evil wall. Evil wall Angie. I, I blame the under the underground school systems, I think. Evil wall uh, evil wall could have learned to, to deal with this in a more constructive way. But that cane does manage to take that evil wall down, and Starman gets to light up objective four. GG. A hard fought victory for sure. And before turning in that. Darkness Crystal is going to go ahead and do this objective. Always a good plan. Do your objectives. And we get to... Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I've lost what I was going to say. It's gone. Was it about music? Sure. We can always talk about music and how fantastic it is. All right. I hope that the harp song is Genuine's Pony, but I kind of doubt that it will be. Somehow I think Twitch would come for us. <laughs> I have a special love for um, Kafka's theme. It was the first harp music I ever heard. 
in the first seed I played. What if we talked over the music so that they couldn't hear the music? And then we could just have all the attention and they'd all be mad at us. Do you think that's a good idea? Snapey would mute us. Uh, I don't know. I could I could remove Snapey. <laughs> I would mute us. That's fair. <laughs> so here is Edward bringing the jams. Up here, slow boss. This boss also doesn't like Quake. Or is it summons? Yeah, I will counter summons, but in this case, uh, because it's at the twin harp spots, uh, the magic damage will be reduced severely, so Pankraz just fights through it. Meanwhile, Starman has decided, hey, I think I should go do ordeals. Maybe my Tella would uh, benefit a little bit from that. Hey, congrats on stealing all those sirens, Pankraz. Here you go. A siren. And that's the uh, objective number two lit up and the end of a song from a game, game I don't like. <laughs> Sounds pretty good on harp, though. Can't deny it. Quake making short work of those Mega Sisters for Starman. Uh, we'll get the pass for them very shortly. Pankraz deciding that um, illusions are a little steep on this item set. Uh, heal potions are something. They're, they're definitely affordable. You gotta give, give them that. <laughs> yeah, Chad asking where the harp was. Twin harp was at uh, Tower Key, which is vanilla. So Starman will have to go all the way to the top of the tower to claim that. And so after doing that twin harp, um, we've got five, six, seven key items. The only other access to anything that isn't Miss Dragon related is through that Octomam at Asura spot. So I would not be surprised to see the moon dive here. Yeah, but just imagine knowing that there can't be anything else on Earth unless you get a key item. That's always a nice feeling, too. Imagine shopping in every shop in the world before you go up, though. <laughs> Getting that change rod for uh, either Pal or Martella. I'm not sure how he's set there yet. Well, and then discovering all the sirens up on the moon. Eh, <laughs> who needs those? I think, yeah, we're looking for tents here. Getting a Soma drop, too. Okay. Means that you can get a total of four 
gold dragons if that's your grind. Yeah, probably committing to this party right now uh, with Porum, uh, Palum, Kane, Tella as the anchor and Edge. And heading straight to the Lunar Dais. Not even gonna, not even gonna check the bunny shop. Well, if it's sirens, it would just upset him, right? <laughs> so I, I, I'm for, I'm for shopping with the purpose of not enraging yourself. <laughs> but but what if it was Bacchus? Yeah, that's true. There's still the hook route though. But both our runners looks like they're going to do a moon dive. Yeah, that's Starman heading right for the bottom, and Pancras probably not far behind him. Behind them. Yep, both runners heading kind of straight down. We'll see if they stop to do a grind on the way. Or if they want to check out and see if there's something free in that first, uh, in the ribbon room spot. Yeah, there are still a few, um, free bosses left in the pool, at least at this point. It's, it's really unfortunate for Starman, the, the, the way this played out, the vanilla tower has an objective and there will never be a tower key to just tell them, hey, you should go back there either. But it looks like we are going to get some dragon grinding. This is a favorite of mine. my favorite thing about uh, the giant, uh, the vanilla giant flag is the fact that you get to see the grinds that you never got to do and some of the earlier, or got to see in the earlier iterations. Yeah, it's been good to have the sirens available to kind of bring it back to that for sure. Meow indeed. Yes, my uh, my cat contributing some some top notch commentary about how she hasn't been petted in some time. And now deciding to save that last hourglass and take on some warlocks. This is spicy. New Bell does make the fight pretty free. Not entirely free, but I mean, it's not too bad. Very heads up with remembering, hey, there's still free bosses that can be hourglassed in the pool and uh, Dark Imps are rude up here. Yeah, without Cecil around to, to play cover strats, you're really relying on blink casting and, and Tella to to get through a fight like that, so I can understand for sure why you'd want to play this way. And we've got Mylon at the ribbon spot. It's not the worst thing that could be here, for sure. It's a pretty slow fight because we don't have like a top-notch nuke or other kind of damage dealer, but the Quakes will get rid of the uh, early ghasts, and then it's just a matter of waiting it out, pretty much. Yeah, 
And now that those gasps are gone, you don't have to worry about inadvertently killing Mylon and then everybody dying. What children, man? We just, we, we, we got rid of them. You gotta keep up with the times. Your friends are gone, Mylon. It's just you now. That lit one only doing damage, significant damage to Tella. Yeah, I'm not sure what uh, our runners have equipped, but clearly uh, lightning resistant for Kane and Edge, and that really saves a lot of time. And yeah, Pancras. Double Mylon, right? Double Mylon on screen. All the screen time for Mylon and Odin in this run. Let's throw a Drain Spear at him. Despite the extra grind, uh, not a whole lot of difference in the parties right now as far as the levels go. Uh, Pancras is Kane a little bit higher. Um, but, uh, and his form, I think, as well, a little bit higher. But other than that, uh, it's working with the same basic tool get here. It's going to be a slow fight either way. I wonder if any, if anybody could cheek up to drop that Excal. <laughs> nah, that's the kind of thing you want to save for a CPU and a nasty spot. Because ain't nobody got time for that. We're racing here. Would Smapey put a CPU in a nasty spot? I'm getting a little worried about the fact that we're not killing Mylon's gas and how much damage we're doing to this Mylon. Well, Pankraz is trying to avoid some of these little ones to make it a little bit faster. That's a pink tail and a pan out of this fight, so uh, very likely to be a required fight. Okay, there we go. I feel a little better. Um, for those who are not familiar, if you kill Mylon before you kill his friends, they get very, very, very punchy. Um, and they do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's less, it's less uh, zombie dance party and more zombie beat you up party. <laughs> You're on a roll. <laughs> I mean, I just take it. Law of averages? Wait, no math. This is, uh, of the moon spots though, this is probably the, the spot that you would most like to see CPU at. Yeah, Plague needing to have traditionally less health because you're meant to really just DPS race him down. Um, you just don't have to chew, th chew through so much health on... Uh, this orbit's side. Yeah, you can probably just Berserk Rush this thing, honestly. See, that's my favorite strat to kill CPU, but everybody's like, you're crazy. Oh, no, I'm with you. Anytime I can kill CPU by, by just blitzing it, I'm a big fan. I ain't got time for all these shenanigans with Reflected loads and whatnot. Well, and Pancras does have rocks. It's 
Starman actually did get that reflection to work, by the way, so I mean, I mean it's going pretty well, but uh, yeah. Ground flyer, he's just complaining about his body. Haven't hasn't haven't you ever just woken up in the morning and said, "Oh my body." I'm more of an oh my head guy, but I respect oh my body in the morning. Anyway, chat talking about the blink strats here. Yeah, this is some pretty pretty good stuff from Starman, uh, making sure that the attacker does not die by blinking it, so that the berserkers always miss. And just about done here. Pancras just decided he would just blitz it, so you know. Pancras like ain't got time for that. We got places to be. This is a race. Spoons to acquire. You know those bosses that you really would like a spoon to throw at, and then you have to fight the boss to get the spoon to throw? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So Pankraz will be at 10 key items after this boss, so that's pretty good for, for him. And we'll see what's guarding the Ogopogo location, if it's something nice or something nasty. Nice! Oh, they're gonna be itty bitty little guards! They're trying ever so hard to stop you from getting what's here. Aww. I'm sorry, Allie. I really hoped that they would be the tiny little baby guards. But... Uh, Starman takes him out and is rewarded with a Zeus gauntlet. And they could have had Fisher Price shields and everything. It would have been adorable. So really, the only two things we found so far on the moon of value is that pan and that... Did we find a rat tail or a pink tail? Pink tail, we found the pink tail here, yeah. But we still don't have a hook to turn it in, so it's uh, just a piece of partial taxidermy, as someone called it the other day. <laughs> well, given the lack of uh, key item spots remaining in the seed, I feel like that pan's probably going to play a pretty big role right now. You've got the three here left at the moon, where we've got uh, the wire on spots, the uh, vanilla pill den spot, and Cave Bahamut. And then you've got uh, Octoman at Asura, and other than a Mist Dragon being free somewhere, that's pretty much it. This is a nasty boss, too. I hate this boss at this spot. This. I don't like you. Well, I found something that I can throw my spoon at, so... Yeah, just go ahead and chuck the silverware here. Speed, that, speed up this fight a little bit. Um, maybe even the Excalibur, too. I don't... If you, if you, found, a, if you found a Cecil at this point, would you want to take it anyway? No, with no slingshot to 
get him to catch up. No. And Pekora is picking up a lot of experience out of that guard fight. Um, like the chat was saying, 233,000 by getting some life budgets off on the uh, captain there. Very nice. Um, just a bit of tech and menuing. And means you're that much closer to Zeromus levels. Yeah, this antlion is, is really mean. Yeah, this is one of those bosses and one of those locations you just throw everything you've got at it. Just delete this thing. Very skillful kill there by Starman. Um, receiving one big gigantic coffin. Uh, for their troubles and resets out of it to uh, save the spoon. All right, are we diving back in? Would you dive back in, Allison? Yes because I have the pass, and if I leave them, if I finish the moon, or if I go to the moon, I'm finishing the moon. I also don't race, ever. <laughs> well, that's fine. I mean, it's just preference at this point. Um, I can definitely see both, both, both points of view here, and I've also done enough of these seats to see, like, pretty barren moons, so... I would be kind of very on the fence here. Two key item spots versus the pan. Well, and I think we found three key items so far up here, so... That's kind of a lot, all things considered. Truth. But also not a lot waiting for you back on the planet if that pan is a womp either. So... Yeah, like, I can talk myself into either play at this point. I, I can respect either play for sure. Wow, getting, get, getting to you in the ribbon room wasn't enough. Now this guy's following you to, uh, the, to the vanilla pale dim spot. My Lonzi, um, well, much punchier than his other counterpart, uh, is about to have a pretty bad time, I think. Yeah, Mylon decided to grow some elemental weaknesses for some reason, um, and Fire 3 and Cure 4 are going to do some real damage. Also, he's flying, so the Cane Spear does uh, extra damage as well. Yeah. I do love how he is considered flying. Oh, there he goes flying. <laughs> See ya. And again, just bub kiss. We can forge that helmet into a crystal, right? That's how that works. I mean, I'm it's being told no. That's not how that works. Drat. I figure just get some moon dust, and it's like how they compress those diamonds. Just put a lot of pressure, get them real small. Yeah, those dwarves are pretty good engineers. Uh, they can they can do something, right? Let's get them on the case. Lab grown crystals. Who cares if Seromus has got eight of them? We've got thousands. And they power things efficiently and cleanly. And now we're going to Cave Bahamut, and you can't stop us.
At least both runners will be confident in the knowledge that they will never ever have to come back to the moon. Ha, 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 ha. That's a little spicy. Ooh, Pancras, are we, are we resetting out of this entirely? We are leaving Golbez behind. So this is a, uh, a moment of diversions. If this is something, say the adamant or the legend sword or the hook the hook could be big uh starman doing some pretty good uh maneuvering here getting the twins to both be uh small so they can see his magic while his attacker is picky so that they can both still attack with full damage so this is really good gobi setup the only thing about this fight is that the Sculpey takes a long time to beat because his magic is not very good here. You couldn't have taken out the old man. You had to leave the Tellus standing. Oh yeah, I mean... Listen, Golbez and Tella have their differences. <laughs> I don't know if you played the final game. They're not exactly friends, fans of each other. We have Bop De Yang on the head, gotten a Luca key for your troubles. Well, that that, that could be progression, I guess. <laughs> I'm not excited about it, but it could be progression. Pankraz is also not excited about it and wants to see what else could possibly be from Sheila. There's something about seeing Piggy Kane fly that kills me every time. Also, that's a hook. That That's big. Very big. That'll knock it down to one uh, objective after the, the pink tail turn in. And gives us a character check. And another key item check. Yeah, that's exactly what Pankraz wanted to see out of that, uh, out of that check. We still see neither the Legend Sword or the Adamant Rock, so I'm wondering if that stays the case, if that might influence Giant Dive or not. If, if, if Fu isn't at the hook already. I'd probably dive that Luka key to see if it's got the Baron key first just because you can see the key item, and if you don't have to do giant, you really don't want to. Earth Crystal also still on the table. Crystal Shield still on the table. Everybody's everybody's a big fan of the Crystal Shield. I think we have a full crystal set now. Well, it's important for uh, the non-existent Cecil, and that's not in our party. And yeah, you can see on Starman's side now how, how uh, this boss is a little bit mean uh, because it takes so long to actually get set up. Oh, that's a that's a tough wipe. And he also decides that uh, no, heck that that no, and is heading back to Earth. The 
and Pancras going right to the hook to see if uh, we are in go mode or not. Looking for a foo. It's a shame there's not like a little peaky point you can look and see earlier on. That is no foo. That was another palom dupe. So, Luca Cave? Yeah, Luca Cave's gonna be the play here for sure. Uh, after that, who knows? We're down to that Golbez and the Asura spot having Octomam. And of course, the possibility of a wild Venist. Uh, as well as giant checking for food. And there's always that possibility that the Earth Crystal holds the foo, and that Earth Crystal is behind that Golbez that nobody wants to uh, mess with. There's also the possibility that that Golbez, or sorry, that the 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 Earth Crystal is behind a demist at King Queen Evelyn, which Pancras just uh, noped out of. <laughs> Or that Demist at Package. Yeah, Demist at Package would be uh, quite quite a zonk for both of our runners. But Starman following in Pancras's footsteps. We'll see if he goes ahead and checks that. Oh! oh. Does have the foresight to check to see if there's a DS tier. So the, uh... The uh, number of things that we can do has been very narrowed. <laughs> it looks like Pankraz is taking the Octoman fight at Asura. Yeah, at that point, you're kind of hoping for an Earth Crystal or a Baron Key. Just where are the key items gain? And just in case you're joining us late, uh, Tower, top of tower was vanilla, vanilla tower key to Twin Harp, and that is why Starman is uh, on two objectives instead of three, uh, has not done that yet. I do not see Pancras having too much trouble with this uh, octopus, though. Yeah, now that uh, the, the the levels are pretty good and, and Kane's got 3,000 HP, uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Still hits pretty hard, but I mean, all you gotta do is just get those arms down. Leave that poor child alone! <laughs> so Starman in a very similar spot to where Pancras is now, except that the tower is wide open for Starman since they never did it. So that could be a possibility over the Octoman or the Goldie. That's that's a nerf crystal. That is an Earth Crystal. That is two character checks. And no, your edge does not know exit. Oh, come on. Can we teach him exit? 
That is why Porum is the superior white mage to Rosa. If you have to walk out of the moon at least once backwards, because your Rosa doesn't know exit yet, Yeah, I'm not going to enter in that argument, but I I'm glad to see people boosting for him. It's good. It's good for poor him to get some some love. Poor him, please hurry up and learn cure for. <laughs> Bless your heart, poor him. Maybe learn cure for cure for before the seed's over. Why not? I guess she already learned cure for. I'm sorry, Porum. Um, okay. I think we're at, we have one that has cure for and one that doesn't because of the the uh, the Pancras. Well, no, Starman was t was taking Sirens, right? Yeah, Starman doesn't have cure for yet. And we're gonna do everyone's favorite meme of skip that treasury. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of, 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 of skipping the treasury. And in this position, I mean, you really, it's not even really a temptation. I can't even think of what our characters are wearing other than that cane with his dragoon sphere. Well, Starman's Edge has two long swords, I believe. Pankraz might have middle. I think he bought middle at some point. But this is uh, a seed where Palom is meant to do some do, do a lot of the heavy lifting on, on magic and already has nuke for Pankras, so... Yeah. Do I really need attackers? And it's everyone's favorite, Bacon! Bacon's about to have a bad time. Dogs don't know it's not bacon. Starman rushing up the tower here, gonna see this freebie, gonna get his uh, tower key, or get their tower key at Twin Harp and We'd be pretty happy about it. And then we're gonna have Pankraz. We see that we see the young. Is there a foo in chains today? Now if I didn't get a bearing key from this, I'd one hundred percent do the giant. That is go mode. Or we just get go mode. There there's always that. But unfortunately, you do still have to fight the boss here. You can't just... Oh, wow, just gonna toss that cane. Listen, we've got some microwaving to do. Well, that Porum knows white, too. I'm, I'm expecting to see some whites coming out on Zeromus. Holy flare flare. Oh, no, it's some dragons. That's terrifying. <laughs> Fall into the deep ravine, dragon. But now Rosa would learn exit if she were, um, 
in our party, but we threw her away long ago. We never got her in the first place, did we? Well, she was there at the package. Well, there's a legend sword, so pretty hard required. I guess that means Golby has a Baron key. Or there's a D-Mist on the giant. Doing giant D-Mist things. Giant D-Mist hypotheticals. Anyway, uh, we've got Nuke, Nuke, Holy, Edge, and Tella. So I think there's a question that gets asked here normally. Well, I sure don't see anybody asking it, so... Oh, there's one person. One person is asking. Okay. Well, we can talk about other questions if you want to. I'm open to other questions. Um, which season of Daria is the best? Hmm. Probably two? Two's really strong. Two is very strong. But I guess for the memes, we will ask the question. Would you like to do the honors this afternoon? No, no. I think I think I think I can't be associated with any more memes today. I think this is on you. All right. Whose butt are we gonna kick tonight? There are currently 527 butts because Zeromus um, Zeromus likes to cosplay and has a huge closet and <coughs> loves to go wow. ahead and <laughs> this is the kid I'm here for and Zeromus likes to dress up as different characters I mean we all love to do it but today he is dressing up as Y'all, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tried. That's the important thing. Speaking of tried, um, this zero, this Zermus uh, sprite is not going to have a fun time. It's going to get nuked, uh, holied, and darted to oblivion in, in pretty short order. Uh, reflect strats in play, and... Yeah, this is going to be a pretty fast fight. And is Ramos even being kind enough to take out that Tella? So everybody's got things to do and butts to kick. And Palom is nuking himself for some reason. Whoops. Maybe Tella was supposed to put a wall up. Or maybe just misclicked and accidentally targeted Palum instead of targeting the edge with the wall up. You tried indeed. <laughs> 9900 out of that nuke. That's a pretty nice nuke. And that HP total for that Palum is pretty nice. Looks like we're getting a reprise of music. Is 
Is this the one you're allowed to talk over? Absolutely, because we have a first place finisher in this race. And it is Pancras taking home game one. And Pancras, pan, pan, pancakes, Pancras, pan. Okay, I'm just not going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> 12707 is the final time by, via, via the race bot if, if anybody out there is keeping track. It's probably just me and Scala, honestly. <laughs> and we'll see if we can't get him in for an interview. And I do believe with that ding-a-ding, -ding, we are joined by X Pancras. GG's to you. Hey, GG's. Thank you very much. So, how about them softs? Softs, yeah. They're so soft. I'm so glad that I had them. It's, you know, for all the naps that the kids had throughout the seeds, we needed some softs, as in soft pillows, to make sure that they're nice and comfortable throughout it, you know? It's good canon. And, and I'm here for it. Um, that Ogopogo was a pretty nasty spot, though. Yeah, that was... <laughs> uh, tragic. I thought, you know, with the Leviathan Rydia, with how mighty my cane was, I could probably go for an aggressive move like that. See, you know, maybe we can do it, maybe we can. Maybe we can get some good XP without having to resort to doing a Siren early. And then... Ogo. <laughs> I might have been able to salvage the fight the first go around, but wasn't worth it. Figured I'd just reset, go back through the overworld circuit, see, or underworld circuit rather, see if I can find some freer XP elsewhere and then come back in a little bit. And glad I did, since there was an evil wall there ultimately. Was there any thought early on to doing that Octomam or at Asura, or was that kind of just something that mentally, you know, you look at your HP and you're just like, nah? Um. There was a little bit of thought, you know, I had the Thunderclaw, I had Mighty Mighty Kane, I had Blink. I might have been able to do it, but it would have been a slow fight, a long fight, a and with no promise of anything on the other side. I figured I'd just take the Bahamut, maybe come back should I need to if it's a Darkness Crystal after I do a couple Sirens. But at that time, level 24, 25, I didn't think it was going to be very efficient or even necessarily a guarantee it was maybe i think better than 50 percent to get through but still not great odds and i'd rather just go elsewhere maybe back to that ogo maybe sheila one maybe keyless tower and seek my progression elsewhere yeah that seems like a really linear seed to play uh you know you're running into you know that uh, keyless tower uh, or or uh darkness crystal out of sheila one early on that was pretty pretty quick to be so low on options uh did you feel like that's the kind of seed that favors you or the kind of seed where you're you kind of feel like you've made some missteps um i definitely think it favors a little bit i and i you know, people like to comment on efficiency and so on, and I've got a good bit of that. So if the path is, you know, nice, linear, straight, I can blast my way through it nice and efficiently and maybe get a little bit of a time lead through just execution. Um, of course, hard to do that in the round of eight of the tournament. I don't think it's going to necessarily be a big advantage but maybe a slight lead to get through or a couple minutes a couple seconds something to give me a little bit of an edge that said it's not quite as uh pleasant to play <laughs> when i have six key items and i have to do the move uh so hard to say but in this situation i'm glad that it worked out well, you made up for it with some very efficient uh, officer soldier uh, grinding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta get that double life glitch. Just shame it wasn't at the ribbon spot. Yep. Well, GG's uh, wins game two. Uh, tomorrow night, same time, I believe. Or maybe it's at seven. I forget. I'm gonna double check. <laughs> it is tomorrow night at seven o'clock Eastern. And similarly, if. I'm sure it will go to a game three 
that'll be seven o'clock Eastern on Saturday as well. Well, we're looking forward to it. Um, once again, GG's uh, really well raced. Uh, anything else you got to add? Um, about Edge and the Z fight. <laughs> so Dart has some iframes. I did not mean to nuke Palum. <laughs> I just couldn't target Edge because he was untargetable. <laughs> And I'm sticking with that story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Other than that, though, no further comments. It was a fun seed. Thank you, Smapty, for rolling it. And thank you, Rivers and Alley, for the commentary. Look forward to watching it back. And of course, can't forget to thank Klopp for tracking. Looking forward to watching back the restream, seeing everything, seeing the divergence, and seeing where I might be able to improve a little bit next time. Well, thank you for racing for us. We always appreciate that. And um, for putting on the show, without you, we've got nothing. Thank you for saying as much. GG's again to Starman, and you all have a fantastic rest of the evening. And that was our first place finisher, X Pankraz. Um, Starman did go ahead and forfeit, which is totally understandable. Three games um, kind of all pushed into a couple of days is pretty taxing, and sometimes you just don't want to get too, too worked up in one game. Um, and I do believe we are joined by Starman for an interview. GG's. Hi, uh, thank you. Um, I would like to go on the record as saying that I can never, ever guess around the Fey March. It will burn me no matter what I do. <laughs> well, that's every, that's everybody, yeah. <laughs> well, and that, I don't think any of us really expected that Octo Nam to have all of the progression that was apparently required. From what I understand, it had Earth Crystal. Yep, Earth Crystal, which had that foo, which then had half of the forge. Forge. And since I had ran off the Fae March roll early on, I am. Um, yeah, no. Apart from that, there's a couple very rude things like the Ogopogo into Evil Wall. That was fun. Yeah, you were pretty fortunate that uh, that cane wasn't taking any damage once you got to the evil wall, because that thing was moving fast. It was going fast. The cane would not jump. Please get off the ground. That that evil wall had places to be. But um, that uh, CPU fight, very masterfully done. Um, getting the float off, blinking the attacker. Um, chat really, really enjoyed that. It was another one of those things where, it, I mean, it was wonderfully well done. And then just gave me a spoon. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll throw this at everything else up here on the moon, except for Golbez, which I forgot about. Yeah, Golbez. Golbez is rude there. Nobody wants to deal with that. I didn't even see if Golbez ended up having anything, did you, Rivers? He wasn't paying attention to the spoiler. Yeah, either was I. I'm bad about that. Look at all the other shiny things going on. <laughs> well, look like, like Chad is saying that uh, Demist had uh, the Baron key, so... I hope that that Demist was on the giant. I guess we'll learn later, but not now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure where else it could have been. King Queen was, was the only place. Yeah, we didn't see the King Queen check. Uh, I don't think either of you did the package boss. Could have been there. I I saw Rosa and reset out. I was hoping, I was, I mean, I was, you're always hoping for foo when you know foo's in the seed, but every place I checked didn't have a foo. It had like a duplicate pour or palum or something. You didn't want to start the babysitter's club? 
I mean, if I could have, if I could, like, if I, like, all the sirens, like, you know, all the children in the world, just train them into, like, murder machines that just cast nuke at everything, I would. But that was on the, um, you know, cards, so. Well, did you have any other thoughts about the seed that you wanted to share? I... I despise the Fey March. Regardless if I do it, or if I do not do it, it will burn me. Schrodinger's Fey March? Schrodinger's Say March? Either way, uh, thank you for having me, and I'll be back tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, that's what we heard. 7 Eastern, right? Yep, it looks like they're going to be 7 Eastern on the free Enterprise channel. But that was Starman, and um, I believe we are coming to a close, Rivers. Was it everything you hoped it would be? Oh, it really was. It always is. But, um, yeah, again, a huge shout out to our runners. Uh, Pancras and Starman. Um, a huge shout out to the behind the scenes st staff. We've got Snape D on Restream and Clofer on tracking, keeping track of everything that was actually going on in that seed because once it happened, I completely forgot about it. It was gone from my mind. It never happened. I've been busy. What are you talking about? <laughs> But, um, again, just thanks for having me. Um, it was a great time to do comms with you, Rivers. It's always a pleasure to chat with you, whether it be about Daria or Free Enterprise. Um, but I think we are getting ready to send y'all over to the next race that is starting on the Free Enterprise channel in just a couple of minutes. Um, we might have some chill music time while they uh, get everything set up, but that'll also be a good one. Yep, that'll be Aizen Tayama versus Peasants, uh, the, their second match. Um, obviously, when we go there, please don't spoil anything that happened in this race. Uh, we've been pretty tight on the no spoilers thing, so keep it hidden. I don't know who won Aizen Tayama or Peasants game one, and neither do you. It never... The result never logged in anybody's head, and let's not talk about it, and so on. <laughs> but yeah, had a blast doing Cobbs of the Alley. Uh, thanks again to Smapty and uh, iClopfer. And we will uh, kind of fade here as uh, we get set up to throw this raid over. Yep. Thanks again, y'all. Everybody have a great night, and we'll see you later.